Good day YouTube and welcome back to the Trooper's Garage. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to build a gray water tank drain pipe. So for those of you that don't know, Mrs. Trooper and I have recently uh, gotten involved into the uh, pop-up camper world um, so we can expand our camping horizons. Um, we have a, a Coleman Evolution uh, E1 camper uh, which does not have a shower, a toilet, it does not have a removable cassette uh, for gray water what it does is it has a, a drain pipe on the outside that's supposed to drain the gray water into a detachable tank um, so the problem is is though uh, that the water just kind of comes out uh, of the drain pipe and splatters all over the side of the camper and down onto the ground and doesn't even get into the removable tank um, there are some commercial devices out there. I bought a couple of them. I didn't like them. Um, they didn't swivel attached to the camper, so you had to spin the whole thing around. Uh, the uh, the hose was a little bit too small, plus um, it was way too short, and it also didn't attach to uh, the detachable tank that I had. Uh, so I said nuts to that. I'm going to go over to the hardware store and buy about $20 worth of material and make my own. So I figured I'd show you that process. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So here's a shot of the uh, gray water pipe uh, as it's coming out of the camper. Um, it's inch and a half, I believe, uh, just standard national pipe thread. And this is just a direct drain line from our camper's sink. Um, so basically the gray water just being like water from us washing our hands, doing the dishes, um, or, uh, or brushing our teeth. And without some kind of drain pipe, this is exactly what happens. Some of the water ends up in the tank. The rest of it just ends up all over the ground. All right, and after getting back from the hardware store, this is what I got. We're going to start off with this inch and a half uh, by way PVC coupling um, with the appropriate threads. They only have that one thread, but I double checked it anyways some purple primer and some PVC glue this inch and a half 90 degree elbow yep it's gonna fit on there like that and then a uh, five foot section of inch and a half grade 40 PVC pipe and before I start gluing stuff together I went ahead and dry fit the bicoupling and this elbow together uh, number one, just to make sure it fits, but also number two, so I can come in and uh, take a good measurement of what that uh, straight pipe piece is going to be. Uh, I'm about an inch, now maybe about half an inch off the bottom of the tank to make sure we get uh, maximum drainage out of it. And then I'm measuring about an inch up into that elbow, which is how far that straight piece of pipe is going to go. And uh, in my situation, we're looking at about 30 inches. All right, now for the easy part, we just got to put all the stuff together. So I'm taking that straight piece of pipe and uh, measuring my 30 inches, marking it. And go ahead and stick it over in the handy dandy vise. And I'm going to cut that piece off with my reciprocating saw, and I'm just using a wood blade. I mean, really from here on out, this is no different than any other PVC project that you've probably done at your house. Uh, me personally, I like to clean the edges up uh, with a uh, a rasp, you know, just get all the burrs off and whatnot. And I realize that's a bit overkill for this particular project, but, you know, dry fit all the pieces together. And I'll wipe all the burrs off, all the dust off. And naturally, of course, the purple primer lid is completely stuck to the can. It's a brand new one. I don't think I've ever bought a can of purple primer uh, where the lid just came off like it was supposed to. All right, a little bit of force and application of a tool, and we're ready to go. So like I said, like with any other PVC project, purple primer on uh, the inside of the elbow there, the outside of the pipe. I'm going to let it sit there for a minute. And uh, now we're ready to glue it together. 
So glue on the inside of the elbow and the outside of the pipe and put them together. Okay, well I let that sit for about 16 or 18 hours before I used it and I realized um, the pipe itself isn't going to be pressurized. I probably could have used it within the first couple of hours, but I actually ended up building this the night before um, we went on a camping trip uh, to Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put it together. And as always, there's my big helper, Lily. Couldn't get half my projects done uh, without her guidance and assistance. Even though she doesn't have opposable thumbs, she's still a big help. <laughs> so you got my tank placed close to the camper. And I go ahead and start off with one half of the bivalve. You'll notice the other half of the bivalve is actually already connected to um, the elbow and the straight pipe. So I just screw that on there. And then the swivel part of the bivalve, once that's tightened up, um, that swivel part will screw directly on there. And that's part of the reason why I chose the bivalve rather than just going with like a straight elbow is I don't have to twist the whole entire pipe um, you know to get it to stick on I said well this coupling will make it a lot easier to do that and it worked out perfectly and it also seals up with those rubber washers in there so I don't have to use any pipe dope or anything else to get a watertight uh, seal to the camper And here's the finished product. Looks pretty good. Works even better. We didn't spill a single drop during our entire camping trip. Well, everybody, that pretty much wraps it up. I uh, hope if you have a pop-up camper and you find yourself in a similar situation that you find this video both informative and helpful. And if you do, maybe think about hitting that like button or giving us uh, a subscribe is that what they say? Give us a subscribe? That doesn't sound right, but I'm going with it. Because uh, I am going to come up with some more pop-up content over the next few months, uh, especially as Mrs. Trooper and I start renovating our pop-up and uh, getting it ready for next summer. But that's all I have for you right now. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and I do wish that you are having the day that you deserve. Bye-bye now. Well, that pretty much wraps it up, everybody. I hope if you have a uh, pop-up camper, that you have a pop-up camper, and that you pop it and lock it. Pop it, lock it, lock it, pop it.